Now, here comes the music. Good evening. It is Tuesday night. It is 8 o'clock. Do you know where DJ's at? I know where I'm at. I'm here with you. It's Buddy with the DJ Roundtable. And it looks like uh, we have people uh, running late right now. So we'll see who comes in tonight. <clears throat> but uh, wanted to uh, go through stuff with you guys. Hopefully you're tuning in. And again, if you haven't done so already, make sure you like you know, follow, subscribe here on over here on Twitch. If you're watching us on YouTube, we do this every live on every Tuesday at eight o'clock on Twitch. Now, here's a pro program note. If I could talk right, <laughs> this is a program note. Next week, being it's Thanksgiving, this is being filmed week before. Uh, next week being Thanksgiving, there'll be no live show next week. So next Tuesday, no live show. This will go air Monday. So you'll see, if you see it, watch it Monday to the live premiere. Um, that's when we air this. It will air Monday. The show will not be Tuesday. It will be a following uh, Tuesday. So it will be the uh, 29th versus the 22nd of November. And that's 2022. So if you're watching this two or three years from now, Great thumbs up, but uh, not sound bad. <laughs> it's uh, you know, I forgot to forget stuff. Get to type one thing. <laughs> Anyways, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel, follow the channel, go over on Twitch, follow on Twitch. Uh, it, it's it's always great. And again, this show is designed to hopefully help you as a DJ that you're not doing the same pitfalls that I've run into or some of the other DJs around the show have fallen into. And do the right things because I know for myself and a lot of DJs who I know, working and making sure that we do the best job possible for our clients is our number one goal. And having a resource and having people able to uh, talk to about stuff is very important. And that's why, you know, reaching out talking to people, having friends, having other DJs, bouncing ideas off of people. It's always important. Um, I saw, you know, I watch other DJs. I saw a gig log today that, you know, um, was pretty good. Um, I saw the gig log from uh, um, DJ Unstoppable. Uh, he did a heck of a job. He also explained how to hook up uh, his speakers um, which he uses QSC speakers. And that to me is an important thing, how stuff looks, how stuff is done, how stuff is designed to make sure it looks professional. Yeah, there's, you know, DJs will nitpick on things. You know, DJs will notice a cable being out place and you should have, you know, you know, use some gaffer tape or a zip tie for this or zip tie for that. And that's fine and great. You know, we, we can kind of nitpick on each other a little bit about that. It's not, for the most part, I don't think most DJs are being mean about it. They're just like, hey, you know, you forgot this. And stuff that people, most people don't see, don't notice. As I've always heard other DJs say, you know, people are not going to come up to you at the end of the night and go, oh, your your show was wonderful. But, you know, that cable right there, you could do some more cable management or a little gaffer tape or a zip tie or something like that would help take care of that. It, it's one of the things that we still want to look good and having someone look through it and go, Mm, why don't you think of this when you think of that? And that, I can't say uh, critique you, but maybe challenge you into doing better. And that's the thing is that, you know, you hear what people are saying, how they think and how they look at things and go, hmm, how do I approach this? And how do I uh, take this as uh, constructive criticism? And that's the way you want to look at it. It's like, 
okay, am, am I really doing something wrong? Am I doing something I shouldn't be doing? Am I doing it the wrong way, the right way? Well, hey, this works really well. Let me explain to other people how it works for me. And this is what the whole entire the DJ Roundtable is about, is how we do things and how things work uh, for us. And it may or may not work for you. And that's one of the things, if you have any uh, comments or if you have anything, criticisms, or you have a topic for the show, type it down below in uh, on YouTube or come on here on Tuesday night and the chat is live. The chat's open. You can type anytime you want to in the chat and tell people, hey, uh, what about this? What about that? Ask questions and pose it live at any time you want to. So that way we uh, can try and answer them as quickly as possible. The big things, you know, coming up right now, again, the holiday season is coming up for 2022. We're, you know, kind, kind to the end of 2022 going to 2023. And one of the things, the topics I was going to talk about tonight and which I will talk about in a second or two is what would you buy a DJ? What would, what would you buy a DJ? You know, if you wanted to give a gift, what would you buy a DJ? And, you know, if you know someone's a DJ, another DJ, if your family member or boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, friends, fam brother, sister, mother, father, whomever it is, is asking, hey, what do you want for Christmas? And you're like, ah, don't worry about it. Don't get me anything. But they really pressure you. Maybe a couple ideas like this could help you and make it easy and simple for them to find and get very quickly. And this is stuff that for the most part, for what I'm seeing right now, and again, this is done on the uh, 15th of November in 2022. For what I'm seeing right now, it looks like a lot of the stuff that I've been looking at and I've seen have been in stock with a lot of the retailers. And there's multiple retailers you can check. You know, you can always check PSSL. You can always check uh, Sweetwater. You can always check uh, a bunch of different ones. And it's it's one of the things that uh, a lot of people, you know, when they go looking, they run away right away run to Amazon. And Amazon does sometimes have some good deals going on. But if you get a hold of a lot of the online shops that deal with DJ stuff and you actually talk to someone – not only you nine times out of 10 to find out someone is uh, very knowledgeable in the area, but also you can ask questions and pose questions that uh, could help you decide on one item or another item. And that's what it's about. That's, you know, having that rapport. Um, many, many years ago, uh, being in Chicago, of course, uh, Marshall Fields was always, you know, uh, give what the lady wants. Uh, my Sears and Roebuck, which unfortunately Sears is pretty much gone, uh, but Sears is always satisfaction guarantee your money back. I worked for Sears back in college, and it's it's one of the things that Sears always had the attitude and the idea back. This is going back in the nineties, and in the two thousands, they had the same attitude was take care of the customer and make sure we're educated as employees to explain to a customer what's the benefit of X, Y, Z. And that's one of the things now I feel a lot of retailers, especially like Amazon, they give you reviews and they can tell you what it does, but you you can't ask someone questions. You can pose questions say, hey, does it do this? And they may get an answer from someone who bought the product. Does that mean that they're an expert in product? No. But talking to a retailer such as, again, PSSL, such as uh, Pro Audio Star, uh, and there's there's tons and tons of other ones, 1234DJ.com, uh, uh, one, they have a shop on the south side of the city of Chicago right by, uh, um, right by where the Sox play. And I always call it Comiskey Park. I'm just old school like that. And it's a guarantee rate field, I think it is right now. No, it's the name, guarantee rate field. They keep changing the names all the time, selling the names. <laughs> so it's hard to keep up. But where my beloved White Sox play, um, there's one, two, three, uh, DJ. 
That's 123DJ.com. And you can call them up and talk to them. There's tons of places. Uh, if you want to go one of the national chains, and they're usually most time usually pretty good about stuff. You know, most of the guys, most of the guys and girls there usually know their products fairly well. So if you walk into a you know a guitar center or into a, a Sam Ash, you can ask questions. And most of the time people do know their stuff. Uh, a lot of times you run into that a lot of musicians, so people who play guitar, but they still understand it. They still can give you uh, very good information, especially about live sound, speakers, microphones, so forth, so on. So it's one of the things that once you find a retailer you like, and there's, a, there's some retailers who I love dealing with and working with, and it's sometimes you want to find new products is finding good retailers. Uh, one of the things that we've done uh, for our business is for lighting is actually add in the Astera lights. And now deal with the Astera lights uh, for, I want to say, six weddings now that we've done with. And I could tell you that there are some great companies out there that deal with Astera that have really great support. Uh, one of them here is in Chicago. One of them is actually in uh, LA area. So uh, both of them are really, really great companies and they deal a lot with, a lot with Astera. And if you have a problem or question, you can go back there. That's the one nice thing about dealing with a online retailer sometimes is that you can go back to them and say, hey, this is not working. How can I get it fixed? Who's authorized to repair it and have it get repaired? When you deal with Amazon, you can return it. Uh, they don't have somebody you can get a hold of and say, hey, this needs to be serviced. What do I need to do? Uh, especially like Asteris, Asteris. Uh, both companies I've dealt with uh, have certified certifications for certified uh, tax and certifications for repair uh, for the lights, which is important for me because uh, like we just had a light was not working right. It was acting really weird and got a hold of uh, the company out in uh, California, which I originally bought a couple lights and had them, um, had them uh, tell me what to do. And I did some stuff and then I'm like, okay, fine and great. I sent it back to them and they repaired it. They sent it back. I got today via UPS uh, premier lighting and productions uh, they're in Sun Valley, California. So if you're in the LA area, they're the ones you want to talk to out there. And then here up in Volvo is uh, for Astera, Astera Chicago. Uh, Mike and his team up there are great. And they have a great team also out there in California. That's who I bought my first set from of Astera Lights. And I bought some more from Mike here, uh, talking to people. And again, just tons of great customer service on both sides. And that to me is an important thing. So when you're thinking about what you want to do for 2023 and you're deciding how to upgrade, how to do things, how to uh, put things in motion for 2023, you want to look at what one is what your budget is and two, what you want to do. And there's a lot of great videos out there, uh, great forums out there as well. Uh, one of the forums I actually found on Facebook is uh, DJ Setups. And I'm looking at some of these setups. I'm like, wow, okay, this is pretty cool. And it challenges me again. This is one of the things I enjoy as, as a DJ and as someone out there in the field, just like you guys are, um, is try and make myself better, try and give a product. If I'm going to charge a good dollar, I want to give a good product. And I know I can DJ. I have the skills for DJing. I know I know music. Uh, I know I can read a dance floor, but also I want to give a good show. And what I mean by a show would be lighting, would be looks, would be setup, would be anything such as that. And it, it's just one of the things that I love doing that. And I love being challenged and talking to other DJs that are out there. It's, it's great. And again, there's a lot of great DJs who I, I deal with here on the show. Uh, DJ Fire is one of them. Uh, Mike James. Uh, you got you got uh, DJ Solstice, uh DJ Stoppel, which was here a little bit uh, last week. 
Uh, I got some other great DJs coming on here too to talk about stuff. And it, it's it's absolutely awesome um, to run these people. And again, if you haven't done so, I will have links in on YouTube to those other DJs, to their YouTube channels. Go there, like and subscribe their channels. Make sure you follow them. Uh, make sure you, you look at look for them because they have a lot of great stuff. I know uh, Nathan with, uh, with DJ Fire, he has his Nathan 343 channel, uh, his uh, his landscaping business channel, and he has you know DJ Fire channel. And he does reviews on stuff and, and so forth, so on. Uh, and he has some really great displays on equipment and lights. And I, I would tell you that, you know, he's someone... If you're looking for questions on things, he's someone to turn to. He does reviews all the time on things on equipment. Uh, Mike James, another one that does really great setups. Uh, he has again a YouTube channel. He does some reviews. He he actually uh, did he does a tech talk uh, on stuff, and he just did uh, a replacement of a battery not too long ago. And that is important because those uh, replacement batteries. Uh, to replace a battery on an uplight or uh, replace a battery or anything sometimes can be tricky. And it's nice that he walked through and said, oh, hey, you know, this is what you need to do. And that's that to me is important because the fact that when you have DJs who are out there doing this, you know, uh, we have DJ Salsas, DJ Unstoppable, DJ Fire, DJ Mike James, myself, and other DJs who I brought on to the show, um, DJ Shawnee, DJ, you know, um, I just had on like um, a couple weeks ago. I had a couple other DJs. I'm gonna have more DJs coming on. All these people I'm bringing on here is because of their expertise. I watch them, see what they do, and how great of uh, stuff they they do. And they give great performances, but they also have a great look, and they have a professional attitude and a professional mindset. And that to me is a great thing. And again, you have DJs out there who do their own thing. And, uh, you know, I, I don't see eye to eye with them, but that's, that's, they do want to run the business the way they want to run it. That's the way they can. It's, it is what it is. And it is the way that they do things. And I just saw some color car in my eye. So I apologize. Um, it's the way they want to do things. And then, then so be it. But a few things, if you're looking at, some ideas either for yourself, another DJ, again, like for family members or asking what to get you. And you don't want to spend, let's say, more than $100. Where are some of the things you can get? Um, a couple things you can get very quickly and very easily is actually, I'm going to go on YouTube, not YouTube, on to Amazon. Uh, you can get some little lights. And what I mean by that, small little moving heads, um, Shed's got some stuff. U King has some stuff. There's a few other brands out there. You can get some PARs. You can get some basic, like not battery operated, nothing that's going to be, you know, top of the line, but a basic PAR you can get for around $100. Uh, headphones, another thing you can actually get uh, from Sweetwater. They have a couple different headphones. They have a Pioneer, basic Pioneer, but a nice Pioneer headphone set for about $70. They have some other ones. They have uh, a couple other uh, headphones for that price range, too. Now, if you want something better, of course, you could spend more money. But if you're looking to stay on $100, there you go. Handheld microphone. You can get a Sennheiser handheld microphone, a regular plug-in ordinary microphone, for about $100. So that's something that, again, if you want to spend, it's going to be able to tax you a little over $100, but for $99, you have a great microphone that I, I picked up, and it sounds phenomenal. A uh, couple other things also, power strips. It sounds kind of funny, but the Furman power strip, you know, not originally expensive. That's something that you can put. You can find at Amazon. You can find at Sweetwater. You can find at, you know, Guitar Sound. You can find at a lot of places. It's those Furman power strips. They're worth every single penny. Cables. Well, cables are also another thing. You know, you can get cables from Sweetwater. You can get cables from uh, from Guitar Center. And again, you ask, hey, I need two 25-foot XLR cables. 
very easily, so easily, it never have enough cables, never have enough power cords, you never have enough extension cords. And that's the other thing too. You can look for things and you can say, hey, you know what? I need a 50 foot black extension cord. You know, you don't want the orange, you don't want the green, unless you need a high vis item in case of a tripping hazard. But you can very easily find a black extension cord. Even going down to Home Depot, Home Depot's website, you can type in black extension cord and find a 50 or 100 foot extension cord. Now, if you don't need that much, 25 feet, I found a bunch on Amazon. Just make sure you get the highest, or actually in this case, the lowest gauge. When we mean by that, the higher the number, the smaller the cable. Sounds kind of funny, but that's the way it works. The lower the number, the thicker the cable. The thicker the cable, the more energy is going to flow, the easier it is, and it's not going to tend to overheat. And you don't want to overheat and ruin a cable. So you want something that you can draw some power through that you can run you know, a speaker on, maybe a couple up lights, and not have to worry about, oh, my God, if I draw too much power through this, I draw up more than three amps, it's going to melt. And one thing I would recommend, don't buy the cheap white extension cords. The ones that are really cheap, thin, two, you know, they're basically two cables, a power, a positive and negative, you know, or a power and a ground. Just please, please. All right, we're back. Yeah, I have a little problem with uh, antivirus software. Antivirus software is the one that actually stopped me from uh, broadcasting. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> this is not a virus. This is what I want to do. <laughs> uh, as I was saying before, uh, before uh, DJ, Fire, just before DJ Fire is, uh joined in to, with us, and I'm going to see, get him back in here. To rejoin. And all right, now I got that going. <laughs> So there'll be a little jump here if you're watching on YouTube uh, because of, uh, yeah, because of uh, antivirus software. As I was saying before, there's a lot of great stuff out there. And was well, before I was rudely interrupted, the white little extension cords, please do not use those. They do not hold a lot of power. They're really designed for very low power consumptions. Basically, maybe Christmas lights, maybe a light bulb. Uh, and I'm talking about 100 watt bulb, probably, you know, if you do incandescent, probably, you know, uh, a 75 watt or 60 watt. If you're doing LED, okay, you can get away with probably a 12 uh, watt LED or, you know, go up to a 25 watt LED, which 25 watt LED is a lot of light. Um uh, so it's one of the things that, again, uh, if you're looking for stuff that you want to have out there, there's a lot of things you can do to have and get that, you know, family members, friends, families, you can either get it for them or have them get it for you. And don't be afraid to ask for things, you know. We all need things, and it can be something very, very simple, you know, and if you want Someone wants to get you a gag gift, a, a cowbell, because, you know, there's tons of stuff out there for cowbells that you can really use and have it for uh, on your uh, DJ table and have it as part of your, your 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 stick. You know, if you are more of a comical guy, more wants to be more of a funny guy. Yeah. People like to have that as a, uh, you know, a, a reference and it has a uh, physical um item so it's it's one of the things that you can very easily add into your repertoire and have something there 
it's also one of the things you want to look at is if you are going to, you know, look at 2024, what are some of the other things you may want to do? Maybe what, are, what are some of the things you want to concentrate on? And marketing is a big thing. You know, how do you market yourself out there for 2024? You can always say, hey, you know what? Get me a gift card to, you know, or buy me a month of advertisement on Facebook slash Instagram. Because Facebook and Instagram are the same company, uh, Meta. And you can say, hey, I want to advertise on Instagram and Facebook. You know, what's one month of advertisement costs? That's something you can find out. You can ask and you can go in and look, oh, okay, I want, you know, $200 to or $100 to spend advertisement for one month of, of advertising. So you can go to your brother, mother, father, sister, whomever it is and say, hey, you know what? You, you want to do something for me. You want to buy me a gift, pay for one month of advertisement, you know, $100 on you know, social media platform, on Instagram, on Facebook, on, you know, TikTok, on whatever you're using, there, there's plenty of places to advertise on. There's plenty of people who advertise. So again, it's one of the things that why not, um, why not do that? So that's, that's, there's, there's ways of doing things that you can actually have people come in and give you basically a gift, you know, and surprise you with things. But also there's other things you can do. There's, um, if you're looking for some other gift ideas, you know, get a gift card to, uh, you know, uh, to uh, Guitar Center or to Sam Ash. Yeah, that'd be nice too. But here's one other thing you can also do. Promo only, which gives licensed music. They always run promotions on their site for uh, their backlog of music videos. You can always take those music videos, strip the video, the sound from the music video if you wanted to. You know, you can get yeah, we have a song if you want to, but you have a music video. It's a licensed copy. You can go in there and build your music library. And it's one of the things you go on Serato or on. Um, virtual DJ, you don't have to show a video. You can micrize and, and shrink down the video uh, transmitting part. And you can have that backlog of older music from promo only and start your promo only library. It's great music to have. It's licensed music. It's the, the artists are getting the credit for it. You have uh, high quality audio. It's 320 kilobit audio. And if you decide you want to go to the subscription service with promo only, you already got your foot in the door with it. And promo only is one of those services for music. If you're looking to build your library, that's a great way of doing it is having someone buying you a couple of the, I'm going to use air quotes here, DVDs or a couple of the sets. And they have, you know, like uh, monster hits of, you know, 20, 2024, uh, or I'm sorry, the 2020 or uh, 2010 or 1990, and you can pick what year in 1990 you want. Oh, I want the best hits of 1996. They have, you know, like dance hits. They have all this uh, classic dance uh, songs. And I use them from time to time on those classic things. I have my my memoirs and in my, uh, in my repertoire that I can go into and go, okay, fine, great. I have this music. Even I'm not showing video because I there's weddings I don't have do music videos, which I do have weddings I have music videos on. But if I'm having a wedding not a music video, I just don't play the video, but I still have the audio, I still have that sound, I still have that music. And again, it's coming from a legitimate source. Have that song, have that that music video. And you can pick up a few, you know, of those albums or a few of those collections. For hundred dollars, you can start building your music library and having these hits there. Uh, you might get the newest hits from promo only. Uh, when they meet these compilations, they usually are you know a little behind uh, because the fact that if you're a subscriber to promo only, that's when you get all the new hits. You know, like right now today, all the new Taylor Swift stuff. 
today for promo only. I have a bunch of stuff from Taylor Swift and from a few others that came on uh, MP3s that came down for promo only, but those were remixes and so forth and so on. And that's the, through the pool service, which I'm a big fan for, is great. Um, one other thing also that if they want to pay, you know, do a hundred dollar gift, uh, pay one month of Vibo. You know, you could try it out. You get one month free. Hey, pay for my first month. I got paid for one hundred dollars. You get that's two months of trying Vibo out for a subscription service to do planning for weddings or for events. And that right there, that's another way you can get someone, you know, a, a, looking for to give you a gift right there. So, Nathan, so, since you will have the review channels and you have all the reviews going on, uh, what are some of the things that you feel that for a DJ, for $100 or less, or, you know, maybe, uh, you know, with tax a little over $100 because you got to tax and everything things, what do you feel that you would put on a list for people looking for things for gifts to give to uh, DJs? Um, those little plastic deals that I used to have, I have some extra ones somewhere that you snap to your, either your trussing or your speaker poles and they have a little deal to hold your cable up against those. They're like, I think you get three the of them. The gravity, than, the gravity uh, grabs. Uh, yeah. I think you get like three or four of them for less than five bucks. Um, and they're decent. They have ones now that have uh, Blue Seal Lighting is a new new company I came across, and they have ones that actually lock. They have little locking tabs. So they'll this they hold the cables in there tighter. Um, clamping, you know, truss clamps are always good to have. Uh, trigger clamps, um, O clamps, uh, cable management ties are always good because um, I, I don't know how many times a DJ will go somewhere. And, and uh, leave some at events, and eventually you leave so many you don't have anymore. Um, fall on the floor, fall out of a bag or something like that, and then you forget about them. Um, merch, like maybe have something with your logo or something put on it. That's a good gift. Uh, so clothing, um, music's always good. Uh, if you can, you know, music videos, TVs, I mean, you could find, you know, if you're looking for uh, a TV or a monitor for a computer or, um, you know, I know there's yeah, some usually, stuff. You, can... you know, if, you, if you're doing TVs, you, you, you're going to spend more than $100 because you usually for a DJ and you want something that's good size and a $100 right. TV is usually something very, very small. Right, Not very big. You're looking at something that is, you know, a, a small tabletop, you know, something more monitor size. And a monitor for a hundred bucks usually are not the best monitor, unless you needed like a second or a third monitor using an extra, you know, monitor. But like, oh, okay, an extra, you know, shot, you know, great. But if well, you want the quality, you're going to spend, you're going to spend some money. So that that's one of the things that, you know, for a hundred dollars or less. Or maybe you know if you had tax in there, you're a little over a hundred dollars. Those are the things that I feel that people you know are looking for. You know, and here's another thing you can look at is a um, USB or um, or USB A or USB C or Thunder port into um, into USB A um, hubs and having a USB hub. Uh, it's great because you can plug in multiple stuff. And if you have some guys have, you know, um, you know, Apple uh, computers, laptops, uh, you know, they have Air, MacBook Air, they have a MacBook Pro. They're limited on USB ports on there. So having something you can plug into multiple items. So you can plug in your controller, plug in, you know, um, other sources into that. Yeah, those hubs do help out a lot. If you uh, are looking at even a regular computer, and I just got a new computer, um, and I get the unboxing video come out uh, tomorrow, but the uh, the the computer has less USB ports on it, and it's kind of funny because you have USB Cs and USB As, but you don't have that many, and it's like I, I need more than what's there. So, you know, one of the things a hub hub is not expensive. 
you know, hubs you can get for, for $10, $20. You know, you get a good quality one, so that way it lasts for a while. But again, buy a USB hub, you know, and wherever your connection is, a Thunder port if you have a uh, Power uh, Mac, you know, or uh, sorry, not Power Mac, but a Mac. If you have a uh, PC, you know, a laptop, it could be USB-C, it could be USB-A, but having that multiple port can be helpful. Um, the other thing also, if you, if you look around, uh, you want personal, you know, care, uh, a water bottle. It sounds kind of funny, but a lot of DJs, you know, they don't bring drinks with them a lot of times. And buying one of those nice uh, water bottles that actually refrigerates or keeps the, the hot stuff hot or cold stuff cold and keeps the temperature controlled, there, you know, you get a, therm a thermo bottle, um, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks for a good size one, you know, uh, off of Amazon or other services, you got something there for someone who can use that over and over and over again. And so that's, that's some of the ideas that you have that you can look at and go, okay, fine, great. This is something that helps them uh, physically keep them hydrated, especially if it's warm out, they have, you know, ice cold water. If it's cold out, you know, maybe you have some, you know, hot coffee or hot chocolate or hot, even just hot water, hot tea, you know, for them to keep warm, that's not a bad thing, you know, and that's, that's, that's some of the great stuff you can do. And, you know, when we're looking at stuff, we're looking at retailers and stuff. Like I said before, there's a lot of great retailers out there. I know a lot of people go to Amazon. Amazon is the 500 pound gorilla in the room, but you also have a lot of great other retailers out there uh, to go to for professional gear. And you have Sweetwire, I look for said them before PSL. I said them before pro audio star. I said them before uh, there is uh AMS up in Wisconsin, American music services. Uh, there is uh Oh God. Well, it's, there's a bunch of other uh, businesses out there. Uh, Zounds, another one I've used Zounds before, but like for me personally, the big ones I really use a lot. Uh, I've used PSSL. I've used, BH Audio, uh, BH Photo, uh, Sweetwater, and um, I'd probably say Sweetwater is probably my biggest one I use the most. But uh, B and H, I've used quite a bit. I, I bought my projector uh, this year from B and H, so it's it's one of the things that you want to be sensible, look around for pricing, but also right now. Um, Right now, the big thing is product reliability, not product reliability, uh, product availability. And product availability right now is a little bit on the lower side. Now, stuff is coming back. So if you want to get something and be in the waiting line, fine and great. It may be after Ooh. Christmas, hopefully before Christmas. You know, all the all the companies such as, you know, UPS, FedEx, all the shipping companies that are like, they're going into peak. They want to uh, get stuff done, um, but here's the th here's the thing: get in the line early. If you see something, grab it. Don't hesitate. Don't wait. It's why I'm telling also customers for hiring our businesses. You know, DJ Fire, you know, or myself, or any DJ right now. If you need, you know, hire a DJ for services, hire them. Don't don't hesitate because. Dates are quickly filling up. Uh, there's not a lot of DJs out there, but there was before because COVID, you know, took a lot of businesses out. But also the other thing is that, you know, you want to find good people and invest time and invest money in finding good people. You know, you found someone good. Don't wait because someone else won't wait. No, they'll, they'll take that, you know, then that DJ away from you. And just like, again, you find a great product. And again, Nathan has tons of stuff that on his channel that he has reviewed Ooh. you know I, I, well, how many reviews you have well if you can clout every single video that's on my channel over a thousand so yeah over a thousand reviews but, everything from but, but not all the videos are reviews i didn't start doing reviews until probably um, hold on i'll tell you when i did my first review on here hold on there's a couple hundred on here easily. 
Uh, I've been doing it for a couple of years now. Let's see. And it, I mean, it, it varies. It's not only DJ stuff. There's no and you have uh, computer computer stuff. everything uh, from there's... DJ equipment to I've seen you review a a pump, a trash pump, basically for water. Use it for your uh... water in the garden. Yeah, you use it for a lot. You, you get tons of stuff on there. Equipment, you know, gear, a uh, little bit of everything. And that's the great thing is that, you know, you find stuff, you find stuff on, you know, watch reviews on YouTube and, you know, look at the product. Is the product worth the money? Is the product, the product not worth the money? You know, and that's, that's the things you got to look at is what is worth. Right. If, again, if you're going to spend money on stuff, make sure it's, it's a good value of the product. And that's why, you know, I, I like going to retailers that you can, you know, you, you have a recourse with. And if something's wrong or broken, you can actually go back to them and say, hey, uh, Amazon, yeah, they have great return policy. You can return it, uh, you know, in Amazon stores or you can ship it back through uh, Amazon directly. And I know they still have a partnership with Kohl's uh, for the most part, but still, you know, you still have to take time to ship back versus, you know, a lot of the retailers online, they'll, they'll if you call them up, say, hey, this is not working. Um, okay, they'll say, hey, here, here's the RA number. Here's the uh, UPS label or FedEx label or whoever their shipping label and uh, drop it off or have them come pick it up and we'll ship you another one. And that's the thing is that, you know, Stuff, unfortunately, sometimes you get it, it's not 100%. And you just need to, you know, say, okay, fine, great. If it's not working, what do I need to do? And that's why, again, I do like, I do like Amazon. I'm not like, no, no, I don't like Amazon. I buy a lot of stuff from Amazon. Trust me, I buy a lot of stuff from Amazon because we're convenient. But for pro audio stuff, especially the good stuff, I'm going to go to, uh, retailers. I'm going to go to those special retailers and stuff that I, companies I've dealt with previously, and they've done phenomenal jobs uh, for gear. You know, again, if you're looking for stuff right now, it's actually a great time. And everybody's got sales, you know, at Best Buy, if you're looking for TVs, uh, Walmart, Amazon, you know, all these places have, uh, have deals. Uh, here in the Chicagoland area, it's App. Uh, app has, you know, great uh, customer search. They ship nationwide. So you go to abt.com. Apt has a lot of high-end appliances. They have a lot of TVs. And I, I actually have my TV in my living room. I have a Sony TV I, I purchased from them as a soundbar. Great customer service. They deliver it lo locally in the Chicagoland area. No charge for delivery. And for most stuff, you can talk to them. For most stuff, they can ship. You know, there's a lot of things they can ship directly to you. I would talk to them if you're buying a refrigerator or something like that. I would definitely would talk to them. But for a TV and stuff like that, yeah, I, I have no problem whatsoever. And again, they uh, they like most retailers will guarantee uh, pricing, and usually most retailers are usually within a few pennies of each other. So when you see we guarantee pricing, you know, there there's slim margins, yes, but most retailers are usually within a few cents of each other. You know, one would be 97 cents, one would be 96 cents, one would be 98 cents. You know, it, to me, it's all about who gives the best customer service and who is going to be there after the sale if I need something, if I have a question on something. So, um, buddy, I just went through my entire YouTube channel. Okay. And pretty much from the start of my YouTube channel, I've done reviews off and on. Um, just things I would get, things I would buy uh, since. And I started my channel, uh, let's see, my first video, when did it go out? Over 10 years ago. Um, and um, I just did this, whoops. Um, but I've really went pretty strong on like doing just making the Nathan 343 channel just mostly for, you know, for product reviews. And I do do weekend vlogs just to kind of throw a little something in there. Just, you know, when we're out doing stuff, I throw that out there. And, and a lot of people have told me, hey, I really like what you're doing with your channel. Um, you know, you're not just making it about product reviews. I mean, yeah, but you're also, you know, telling us what you do when you're not doing product reviews. Well, what, you know, what you're doing on the side. 
So normally Saturdays and Sundays, or sometimes Saturdays and Sundays, normally once a weekend, if I have enough time, or if I have anything going on that week, I'll film and put up a vlog about uh, plowing snow. Or uh, would, Did you guys get some snow up there last night? Yeah, we actually, it's snowing right now. Uh, I could but I've, I've been doing product reviews pretty steadily on YouTube for about two years now, a little over two years. Um, but like I said, my channel first started um, ten, over 10 years ago. I think this January will be 11. It was in January where I started it. Um so, like I said, just because your channel, if you got a YouTube channel out there and it's not growing, it took me, well, nine years to become monetized. So, I mean, of course, I wasn't posting a whole lot of, I was just posting a bunch of Jim or Jamish stuff. And, you know, I, I used, to, I still am. I mean, everyone likes to see freight trains and, you know, the big moving you know power and stuff i still every once in a while will go like i used to put train tuesday videos up i know people that that's all they do they go out and film trains and they're they're monetized people watch train videos um i know people that do you know farming videos i have a few farmers that i watch and you know people like to watch straight farming they're just channels but i started out with just doing a little bit of this a little bit of that and i finally made up my mind i want to do product reviews and i have people contact me and and I actually got a message from YouTube today, found out there's some fraudulent activities going on on YouTube. So there's a bunch of people that are sending out products or something that I don't know, I don't quite understand it, but I've got to watch out who I accept product from. I do know that because there's some people out there that are doing fraudulent stuff. One of the things, I, one of the things I've seen on YouTube, and actually I got hit the other day, was someone saying that they are so and so from that channel, and they have a Telegram channel, and I won something. And click on the link to go to their Telegram channel, and Telegram is like Twitter, but it's more or less for like European, like Eastern European, like Russia, Ukraine. The that Telegram kind of stuff. stuff is all bots. They're all fake. They're all mostly if you click on them, they give you spam and stuff. I mean, every oh, yeah. time I see a telebot in anyone's comments, I just report them. They're, I mean, yeah, they're crazy. Actually, let's see. My first video was posted January 14th, 2011. So this January 14th, I've been on YouTube 12 years. There you go. So, yeah, I've been on YouTube for quite a while too. So it's, it's 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 fun and YouTube is it's a great. learning experience. I mean, I look back at some of my first videos. It's got like ten views on them, and I've got videos now that are approaching a hundred thousand views. So you know, it's yeah, it, it all adds up. So, but, with that said, we're gonna end our broadcast here on Twitch. Don't be again. Be afraid to you know follow the channel on Twitch here. Just a uh, just a little uh, exclusive sneak peek here. Um, me and DJ Mike James are working on a Christmas giveaway. Uh, we are hashing out all the details. We've got the products in. Uh, what we're going to be giving away. He's giving away, I believe, two products. I'm giving away one and a secret that will be mailed with that product. Uh, so when you uh, win the pro or the item, it is DJ related. We'll put it that way. Um, I think what we're going to have to do is you're all going to have to be a subscriber to the channel and then have to go and uh, comment on the our Facebook post. We're going to put a picture of the, the giveaway post on our DJ Facebook pages. You'll have to go there, follow the page, like the post, share the post, and then comment below what you would do with the gift that you would win. And then from there, we're going to run I think run it for like three weeks or so, and then we're going to pick a winner out of those comments. Well, there you go. All right. Well, so, again, don't forget, don't, uh, don't forget, I have a link here on YouTube to DJ Fire's page, DJ Mike James, and as well as everyone else. So I want to thank everyone for coming in tonight. Thank you, DJ oh. Fire. Nathan, stop by.